Hello, I'm Rory Ale reporting for the news feed. This is your feed update for Wednesday, September 22nd. It has been confirmed that missing 22-year-old Gabby Petito's remains were found. Her disappearance happened months after she set out on a cross-country road trip with her boyfriend. Her body was found over the weekend at Wyoming National Park in an undeveloped campsite. Teton County Coroner Brent Blue determined Petito was killed. Officials did not disclose a cause of death pending a final autopsy results. Meanwhile, authorities continue to search a swampy Florida preserve area near the home of Petito's boyfriend. Investigators returned yesterday to the Carlton Reserve to look for 23-year-old Brian Laundrie. The NCAA has placed Georgia Tech's women's basketball program on probation for three years. The infractions committee cited violations under former coach Michelle Joseph. The infractions were due to excessive amounts of practices. Players were forced to wear longer than time allowed on off days. The NCAA finding means both the men's and women's programs at Georgia Tech have landed on probation. That troubling situation offered a comprehensive compliance review of Georgia Tech's athletics department by an outside agency. The probation period for the women's team does not include an NCAA tournament ban. COVID-19 has now killed about as many Americans as the 1918-19 Spanish flu pandemic did, approximately 675,000. The 1918-19 influenza pandemic killed 675,000 people in the United States. The population then was one-third of the size of what it is today. The coronavirus may never entirely disappear. Instead, scientists hope the virus that causes COVID-19 becomes a mild seasonal bug as human immunity strengthens through vaccination and repeated infection. For now, the pandemic still has the United States and other parts of the world in its jaws. The United States deaths are running at over 1,900 a day on average, and the country's overall toll has topped 673,000. And that is your feed update for Wednesday, September 22nd. As always, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook for more news and information. I'm Rory Ayler. Thanks for watching.